Welcome back, my name is Carrie, and today I'm gonna to show you one of the coolest looking homes I've seen in a while. It's been a pretty wild year in the offsite construction industry as companies innovate, expand, and create to stake a claim in their corner of the new home market. The result has been not only more companies to choose from, but a wider range of styles, designs, and price points. Gone are the days where every home in a factory has a peaked roof looks pretty much the same, and the only way to differentiate is to change the exterior color long gone. I have absolutely nothing against a peak roof. My point is we're living in a time where we have the luxury of options and there are some very cool options available. The home I'm going to show you today is one people have been waiting to be available in the States for quite some time and the good news is that time has finally come. The company I'm talking about is Kudu and their lineup of unique modular homes with rounded corners will be sure to get attention wherever they're placed. What I'm going to do is tell you a bit about the company's look at their first US model and let you know where you can get Get one, so let's do it. Kudu is described as an instant building solution developed, standardized, certified, and mass produced in Germany, Denmark, Dubai, USA, and Estonia. They say Kudus are mobile, modular, qualitative, sustainable, multifunctional, and individually tailored to the needs of people who can set them up on their own property or in neighborhoods with other Kudus in a Kudu universe. As a resort summer house, as a home, as a studio, extra sleeping space, event space, pop-up store, showroom, or function room. Let's just take a second and appreciate the look of these homes. Whoa. The curved ends glass front combined with the optional pergola is a look that's gonna get the people going. If you're looking for a house that will blend in, not attract attention, and go pretty much unnoticed, then this is not the home for you. If I saw this being delivered on my street, I would be marching over there asking what it was, where it came from, and when I could get a tour. In fact, a tour of the very first Kudu in the States is already in the works. Kudu is a product of LTG Lofts to Go, which was founded way back in 2012 by Mark Dare, and excuse me as I try my best not to butcher this name, but Schmeidel, Let's go with that. Founded by Mark Der Schmeidel in Berlin. With his team, he realizes the production, distribution, and international marketing from Talon and Hamburg. What's interesting about their business model is that they've brought on licensees in different areas to build and serve markets all over the world. So if you want one of these things in the States, you can get one from the American-based licensee called Big Sun Modular instead of having to get it shipped over from Europe, which is obviously going to cut down on the overall cost by reducing the cost to ship significantly. They've got some fascinating ideas on housing that can be adjusted depending on the stage of life the homeowner is currently in that only really works with modular because they can grow and shrink as needed. If you think about housing needs at different stages of life, a lot of people start out needing space for one, then for two if a partner enters the equation, more space is usually required if they have kids, and then people start to downsize as kids move out and the cycle starts all over again. They've set up a plan with their homes to accommodate each stage of life without having to move multiple times and I think it's a cool concept. The website says from singles to couples, from couples to families, and back to couples or singles. The model they use in the example is the Kudu Sun which is 24 square meters or just under 260 square feet. The description says the Kudu Sun is available in a module size of 24 meters squared and several modules can be connected so that the Kudu can grow to 48 or 72 meters squared which is around 516 square feet and 775 four square feet to accommodate each stage of life, then you start taking them away as they're no longer needed if you decide to downsize. It's a cool concept that could work for a lot of people, but I haven't seen it implemented in real life, which could be due to a few different reasons. Either it hasn't been available, people don't like the idea, or more likely people don't know about the idea, so let me show you a model available in the United States so everyone knows what's going on. People who have been patiently waiting have to be pleased to hear that Kudu has made its way into the United States and from what I understand, the first model available is the moon. If you didn't catch it, they have a universe theme going on with their models with names like the sun, moon, and the last one I'll touch on in another video called Earth. The Kudu moon is described as the first of all Kudus. The moon 32 delights with its generous dimension of 34 foot 6 long by 10 foot 3 wide and 10 foot 6 inches high for a 
total footprint of 344 square feet. If these homes weren't already cool enough, the US built kudus are made using a steel frame structure, which can support a roof terrace. And in my opinion, that takes them to a completely new level of awesome. I don't know what it is about the roof terrace that I find so appealing, but I do. So bonus points to Kudu for making it happen. The facade is made from an extremely lightweight patented composite material engineered to reduce the weight of the Kudu and conduits run through the resulting hollow space, resulting in an efficient mechanical, electrical, and plumbing distribution. The composite facade material is durable and allows for exceptional heat and sound insulation. As for the floor plan itself, the Moon is a one bedroom home with a door on the front that enters into the living room, then has a bedroom on the left with the kitchen and bathroom on the opposite end of the home. The bathroom is full size with everything required to get the jobs done, including walk-in shower, sink, and toilet. All in all, I think the entire home is a well thought out space. Some of the other homes in the three to 400 square foot range are studio models with bedrooms that double as living space, but this will appeal to everyone who likes a more clearly defined bedroom for that little bit of extra privacy. On top of that, just like the sun, the moon can be expanded by adding more modules to accommodate people looking for more space or who simply need more bedrooms. Inside the home, the laminate flooring has optional electric underfloor heating, the floor, roof, and walls are insulated using rock wool, and the windows and doors are double or triple glazed aluminum frames depending on location. The exterior and interiors will differ based on local requirements and detailed specs can be provided upon request. There are a couple things I really like about the Kudu Moon. Number one is definitely the look. The Kudu Moon and the entire Kudu lineup look different than really anything else currently available with a combination of both futuristic and retro looks. And I think that's the reason so many people have been waiting for them to be available in the States. The website says a modular home that redefines modular homes. I'm very curious to hear everyone's thoughts on the look of these things. You like it? The second thing I like about the Moon is the layout. The bedroom is going to appeal to everyone who prefers the clearly to find space of a proper bedroom while also offering an open floor plan throughout the rest of the home. It'll be very interesting to see this home in person and find out what the space actually feels like and how they've got it set up. The area I'm most curious about is the living room kitchen, which has dimensions of around 14 and a half by 11. So definitely looking forward to that. Finally, I like the amount of windows on this home. In a space this size, natural light becomes extremely important. And with the amount on the front of these homes, they've definitely got you covered. To my knowledge, the only place these homes will be available in the States is from Big Sun Modular, who I honestly don't know a heck of a lot about yet. What I do know is they are the licensee for the Americas for both Kudu by LTG Lofts to Go and Coda by Coda Sema, and that their mission is to provide customers with a full range of modular options that match their needs across different applications. I was able to have a quick conversation with Big Sun Modular to try and nail down pricing on the moon, but they're so new to North America that they're still finalizing the price, and I was told to check back at the end of the month to see where it lands. The Kudu lineup from LTG Lofts to Go is officially available in North America by way of licensee through Big Sun Modular. It's great news for everyone who's had eyes for this home and its modern retro design that have been waiting patiently to be able to actually get it. I like designs that push the envelope of what we're used to seeing and living in and this home absolutely does just that. I am definitely going to be following along with what they're up to including pricing and when there's news to share about Kudu or timeline from Big Sun Modular, you'll be able to find all of it right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.